Hi, and welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. Today is episode number six in our preparedness series. So today, we're starting a fire. All right, so in this week's video, we're going to be building a fire. But in order to be successful in building a fire, we have to understand and know what a fire is. All right, so what is a fire? Well, its simplest definition is a fire is nothing more than a chemical reaction. A fire needs three components in order to survive. It needs heat, fuel, and air. So now that we know what a fire is and what it's made of, how do we get one started? Now that we have that information with us, we're gonna build us a fire. And in order to prove to you guys how simple it really is to make a fire, all you have to really do is practice, we're going to follow my youngest daughter, Ledessa, as she builds a fire. Now, as we catch up with Ledessa, she is gathering items for a tinder bundle, which is also known by some as a bird's nest. All a tinder bundle really is, is a group of easy to find, easy combustible items. Items such as grass, cedar bark, birch bark, stuff along those lines. Now that she has these items collected, she's also going to go around and gather the larger pieces of wood to be able to help her sustain her fire. Because once she gets where she needs to build her fire, she's also going to go ahead and build a teepee. Now, as we see here, Ledessa has gathered up all of her materials. Now she's going to go and start to build her bird nest. What she'll do is she'll take the largest portions of the grass or hay that she has gathered and she will start to make a hoop. And as she starts to make the hoop, she will fill it with the thinner grasses and the ground cover, the cedar bark, stuff along that line. So it basically resembles a bird's nest. Now she goes over to her area where she's going to build the fire and she will take the twigs and small sticks and build a teepee. Once she has that teepee built, she will take her fire starting rod, her ferrule rod, and she will scrape the magnesium off of the back of the rod and then proceed to throw sparks onto her bird's nest. Once the bird nest has ignited she will take the bird's nest slide it under her teepee and then she will what we call baby the fire where she is constantly blowing air on it getting it to grow as she adds smaller sticks and twigs to the fire until it comes to the point where it's basically has taken a life on its own all right and there we go as you can see, just about anybody can make a fire. But fire building is a skill. And it's a skill that requires practice. Because we'll be honest, that wasn't her first time. Matter of fact, she's been building fires for a couple years and she's been practicing for months with that rod. Fire building is a skill that requires work and requires practice. Don't think for one second that you'll be able to go to Walmart, buy one of these rods or order our fire starting kit and throw it in your bug out bag and forget about it until you need it. That's a little bit too late to be worried about whether or not you can start the fire. 
You got to get outside. You got to practice building your bird's nest. You got to practice with this rod or any other means that you try to start a fire with and become proficient at it. So that way, in a stressful situation, you won't be getting frustrated. You won't be getting aggravated. You'll be able to stay focused, be able to get your fire built, and to be able to save your life and the life of your family. Proud of you. Well, that does it for this week's video. I want to invite you guys to check us out on the web at www.bigbearhomestead.com. Come on over to the Facebook, give us the like. Hey, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, I kind of messed up the website a little bit, huh? It's all right. Everybody knows it's www.bigbearhomestead.com. I also want to invite you guys to come and join us on our live streams twice a week, every Monday and Saturday. And hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, give us the old thumbs up. <clears throat> if this, you think this video can help somebody else out, please share it. If you have any questions or comments, or you just want to tell Odessa good job, hey, leave them below. Just remind you guys, be nice, polite, and courteous of others, or your comment will get deleted. Hey, if you're new to the Big Bear Homestead and you like what you saw, our little logo has been down here in the bottom right-hand corner this whole time. Go over there, click on it, I'll take you to the page where you can subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of the Big Bear family. But hey, YouTube's changed the game. You can't stop there anymore. Right there beside the subscribe button is that little gray bell. Click on it, tell YouTube, hey, I want to know when Big Bear puts out another video. Let them know you want the notifications from our channel. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to start a fire. Please come back and join us next week while we show you how to start a fire with a bow. Well, thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead. Oh, and at the end of this video, there's gonna be links to other videos of ours in our preparedness series. So if you've missed any of them, check them out. Thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead. And like always, have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.